Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin with the Bulb Care Team and we are going to talk all about publishing. As you are working on assembling and creating your work, Bulb is constantly saving your page. Your Bulb is in draft mode. This means that you are the only one that can see this page. If you want to preview what your page will look like and how the links and media will work after publishing, go to the three dots in the upper right hand corner and select preview or live mode. You can now interact with your media. Live mode allows you to see what is currently published. Just click resume editing to return to edit mode. When you're ready to share your smarts with an audience, this is what Bulb calls publishing. Click the blue publish button in the upper right hand corner. This is what we call the publishing panel. To make your page visible to a particular audience, Put your cursor in the white field under Visible 2. Now you will see a drop down of options. I will review all of the options in Bulb, but note that for students, some of these options may not be available. Your school administrators at the organization level have the ability to manage what options display for students by grade level. The first option here is public. Now, public does mean public. It can be searchable in Bulb and even on the web. If you share a public Bulb page, viewers of your page do not have to have a Bulb account to see your work. If you are a member of an organization, you will see this option. This means that anyone with a Bulb account in your organization can view your page. Users in your organization do not get notified when you publish to the organization. In this case, you would need to share your Bulb page link to let others know that you've published your work. The next option is groups. When you publish to a group, your page will visually display in the content area of that group. If you want to share your page with certain individuals, this is where you would use the search for user field. This is a great option if a student wants to share work directly with the teacher or a peer project group. You must search by username. Now this is very important. Searching by first and last name will not give you the correct results. To find your username, you can navigate to your profile and look at the browser URL. It's www.bulbapp.com and after the slash is your username. For example, the username on this account is Mrs. Berg. You can search and select multiple people to add to the visible two permissions. Next is creating a private share link. What this means is that if you share this very special link with anyone, they can click on that link and have access to view your page. They do not have to have a Bulb account to view your page. This is great for college applications, scholarships, resumes, and sharing with your family members or maybe even during a conference presentation. And most importantly, you can use the private share link to turn in your Bulb page to your teacher in your learning management system. When using a private share link, it is very important that you share this private link and not the URL on the top of the page. Use the clipboard icon to easily copy the URL. The next field is collection. You can choose to organize your page into an existing collection right here. You can always do this later by simply dragging a page and dropping it into the collection. On to the title. Now this is a required field, so if the blue publish button at the bottom is gray, this probably means that you do not have a title on your page. The summary section here is optional and gives you a space to say a little something about your page. This will show when someone views your portfolio in list form. You're not done yet. It is important to note that your page is actually not published until you select the blue publish button at the bottom of this panel. Now if you make any edits to your page after you publish, you can republish your page for the audience to see your updates. It is not like a Google Doc where people automatically see any changes made. One very powerful feature about Bulb is that you have the opportunity to determine the audience for all of your pages and collections. It makes sense as you are building a life portfolio and that some work is just work in progress and maybe you want a few people to see that page to provide feedback. 
but other parts of your portfolio you want to showcase to a larger audience or maybe to the world. You can do that in Bulb and make adjustments and changes at any time. Now I want to show you the share panel. This makes it easy to copy the URL to your page and share it out. You can also create a shortened link. Remember that if you are publishing using a private share link, you must copy the link in the publish panel and not in this share link here. You can also easily share your work on social platforms. If your school blocks any of these sites, then your school filter will block these on Bulb. So how are you feeling about publishing a page? Good? We also have a lot of resources if you do need a refresher. Now I quickly want to talk to you about collections and how those visible permissions work for collections and pages within that collection. When you open a collection and find the More option right below the collection title and description, a very familiar menu will appear. It looks very similar to the Page Publish panel. This is where you can add the visible two permissions to a collection. Notice that you have the same options, including search for user and create a private share link within the collection. One thing that is different is that you do not have to click publish or save. As soon as you add anything to the visible to, it's automatically active and saved for you. If I share this collection URL or private share link, all the published pages within this collection will also be viewable. Notice that in the Visible To section, this is published to the public. Now when I open the page and select Publish, you will see Public with an arrow indicating that it is inheriting that Visible To permission from the collection. I can remove the individual permissions, but not the one inherited from the collection. You will also notice that sub-collections will inherit the Visible To permissions as well. You see how I have unpublished pages in this collection? If I share that collection link, the view would not give access to my unpublished pages. I do have to publish the page for the permission to inherit and to allow the audience to see my page. And that's it. That's how you control your portfolio and share and showcase your work to the chosen audiences. So let's recap. Bulb auto saves while you are working. You have to click publish at the bottom of the publish panel to activate your visible to permissions. If you make changes to your page after publishing, you do have to republish in order for others to see your changes. Pages and sub collections inside of collections inherit the visible to permissions of that collection. And lastly, to share a private share link, you copy the link inside of the publishing panel. Now you take a few minutes and practice publishing a page and collection in your portfolio.